are going up, so we are going up. Is that thunder? Um, it might have been a truck. Anyway, we have just signed, complete the signing of Dion Pereira, the highly anticipated signing of the transfer window. The only sign anyone was bothered about making, well, not really, you can't just have loads of Dion Pereiras, you wouldn't, you'd concede loads of goals for one, but you would score a lot because it creates chances, it moves around the front line, it does everything in that front line, and is. I need to catch my breath, I haven't even looked at the article, um, breaking news, Dion Pereira, Bantam, I can't believe it, it I mean, Richie Smallwood was a big signing, and where does this come in the signings with the with the ones we've made this season? Um, get in the comments down below which your best signing is and who you think will have the biggest impact on the squad um, out of the signings we've made. I mean, I've seen the Smallwood, Critchlow looks good, but he's on loan. Uh, Lewis, now Dion Pereira, Tariq Wright, who we signed this morning. We're still in the morning. Um, but yeah, I said earlier this morning that I don't think Dion Pereira will sign. And there we are. Um, the clock's wrong, so I don't know what time it is. Uh, about 10 o'clock-ish. Dion Pereira signed. And do we need him? We've now got three. I'm pretty sure he's left-footed. But um, if he is, then we've got three left-footed players who would have a play on the right. But Dion can play anywhere in that front line. He can play up top if you really need him to, could play off both rings and behind a striker. So he offers a lot of depth and he's brilliant. I, I do need to have a look at the article because it might be a permanent or loan. Either way I don't care. I, I know a lot might. Some might not have wanted him um, if it was a loan. But, and I did see quite a few wanted him to be um, quite, quite a lot, not Dion Dublin, quite a lot of fans what only wanted it to be a permanent if we were going to sign Dion. Um, but I think his contract's running out next season. Uh, last time I checked it did say that on transfer market. Um, so hopefully it is, because if it is a loan, I'm just trying to get it up now. Yeah, because if it is a loan, then his contract's running out anyway, hopefully. Um, yeah, it's a loan move, I think, 20 hours ago. Oh no, he signed a new contract with Luton. I don't know. Anyway, he's in the door, which is the main thing. And I think he'll, he might play off the left. And if, I think he did play off the left a few times. But what that front three did last season was constantly move around the front, the front three. And we did miss Burnham. We have missed Pereira. And... Yeah, it's season one loan, sorry. <laughs> I'll, I'll properly talk now, sorry, I'm excited. But yeah, we did miss Vernon, we did miss Pereira, and we've missed Walker this season. Um, he's only played a couple of games from his injury, and before his injury, and he's been injured, and we haven't been the same team with Chapman in at number 10, but now we've got attacking options of Walker, Chapman, Pereira, Wright, Isa when he's back, Young, Howard, Cook, Oliver, uh, the list goes on, there's quite a few I've missed, um, but it's signed a deal which will keep him here for the remainder of the season, which beat off competition from across the AFL list for his signature, he's uh, 23, he made 10 appearances on loan last season um, from the second half, he got a couple of injuries didn't he, and he, I don't think he played under Derek Adams, Hughes came in, he was just around back then. Um, I thought he played more than 10, but that shows how good he was in them 10 games, but everyone wanted him back. Um, he's impressed Luton in pre-season, and he said, I am delighted to be back. Everyone made me feel right at home last season, and I did not have to think twice about returning. Well, you took on enough, didn't you? The experiences I had last season with the supporters, the team, and Mark Hughes are ones that you cannot forget. Finishing off with three wins at the end of last season, the gaffer said that he wanted to aim for success before I even went back to Luton. And seeing games so far, including the win against Chef Wednesday, is clear what we want to do. I cannot wait to see all the boys again at training and get back out at Valley Parade on Saturday. I have missed all the fans and just want to give everything back to them on the pitch. We are delighted to Mark Hughes now. We are delighted to bring Dion back to Valley Parade and cannot wait to see him back in Clarendon Number. 
as every prophecy's part knows Dion is an exciting, entertaining player who we have kept an eye on from the minute he took return to Luton following the conclusion of last season. He has the ability to unlock doors and turn games in the blink of an eye and his popular face among those who shared the pitch with him last term. I'm sure you will wish him a warm welcome and see him back in action. He's going to wear number 26, which I believe he wore last time and it's just really exciting. I'm sorry if you didn't see my face, it's probably been a really crap video, but the excitement has overjoyed it. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below, but what does this mean for the squad? Well, he adds depth and he, he also adds creativeness, if that's a word. It, it, it adds creativity. Creativeness isn't a word. Creativity adds. And he can unlock a defence, like you said. He can open doors, and so can I, but not like him. He opens doors with elegance and silkliness and class. He's it, it, brilliant opening doors. Um, yeah, he's a locksman. In, he's a locksmith. He's a he's he's just good. He's just good. Anyway, I'm very very happy to welcome Dion Pereira back to Valley Parade. And um, yeah, but it's, uh, there will be a few who will be like, we don't really need him. We've got the options. We've got Chapman who was supposed to be like him. We've got Tyreek White who just signed, and I didn't think we'd get him after signing Tyreek White, but um, I did think we'd get him all window because of the hints, you know, there were loads of hints. There were more hints to Dion coming back than there's hint that Paul McCartney's dead. But the thing is, the better hints, you know, wearing Bath City training kits, posting pictures of places, well, it looks like he's in Bradford, and uh, the car, the mysterious car, was that his? Um, was he there on Saturday and was he there against Chef Wednesday? He mentioned Chef Wednesday, it might have been him, but apparently it was uh, someone on Twitter, Aaron Bower or someone. Um, sorry if I've just said uh, someone on Twitter looked like the Emperor and the don't do like me. No, someone. Um, anyway, brilliant signing and this is what we needed. We needed someone in that final third who can help us just break down the defence because there's too many defences that come to Valley Parade and sit back and just relax. Well, they don't relax, but what the, we, we get too comfortable. But what Pereira will do and what he did last season, he'll take the ball and he'll go past three in one move. And then there's options for the pass, and he seems to have that uh, decision-making about him. It can improve, but he does seem to be very good at decision-making, and he seems to be very good at making that pass at the right time. But that Scunthorpe game, for me, was the game where I'm, they did put out the kids. But that was the game where you noticed that this guy has got something and we need him next season. Because he just went past about five in one turn. He was like our Messi and he's the league two Messi. And he will probably get ten, ten and ten or more. Um, and even if he doesn't, he'll be creating everything for us this season. And we're going up, uh, you know... You can watch this back in May and they'll be confident that this signing has got us promotion unless he gets injured, which he does seem to have a bit of prone, proneness to injury. But we love him as the fans. We've wanted him back all season and I feel like he wants to be in this environment. He's loved, he's loved here and um, there's a lot of footballers who, you know, they the find the right place to play and I think this is the right place for Pereira. Um, and the suck some places are. I mean, just a quick example, look at Romelu Lukaku, you know, Inter Milan, Everton loved, Man United and Chelsea not so loved, and they do flourish, and you see that with Pereira, and um, I just hope we can kick on now. Saturday's a big game, get a big three points, Pereira's starting, everyone back, and, um, well, I won't be back, I'll be back next Saturday, when we're away to Mansfield, but hopefully, we can just, this is where the season starts now, 1st of September, two big deadline signings in, Pereira's back, and uh, yeah, I've gone on a bit too long here. Um, let me know what you think in the comments down below. This is massive. We, we, there will not be any more teams sat back at Valley Parade, and there won't be any more nil-nils, because he will open up a defence. Have a good one.